Okay, we're back. I'm going to just show you that screw that we just uh, removed from the mouth. Let me see if I can put this. Oop. There we go. There's one of them. And that's to uh, the Biomet 3i. And you can see a little bit of the bio burden with that. All right, so that that's the broken screw that came out of the anterior abutment. We're going to go back in the mouth now and go inside. We're pre-soaking again the the one the posterior implant, and now we're going to go ahead and pre-soak the vacant now the vacant uh, implant so that we can go in and further clean the threads because he's got a, an appointment right after our, ours with his general dentist. All right. So let's see if we can now back out this one. Now it looks like we're going in a clockwise rotation, but it's actually through my mirror, so that's counterclockwise. And we'll just move it along, put a little bit more solution underneath it, and just coax it. Um, really like to use a solvent like tartar and stain and versus any type of petroleum. I would definitely not use petroleum with these cases. Use a microscope. That's uh, the, the beauty of that. Um, there it comes. Now we have a larger suction tip now on our micro suction. We went with the color code, I think, is it pink? Pink, yeah. So it's from Ultradent, and that pink product is large enough to get this, so. I'm going to just keep rotating. And I'm just using right now a, a small little acid etch tip. That's working just fine. Put a little bit more material in there. There it comes. Right. Just about out. Both of these were pretty solid Loctite in there, and uh, the key is to get the solution in and let it penetrate. Sometimes you have to do it overnight. Alright, so I think let's give it a go. I think we're ready to go with the suction. Yep, we're good to go. Suction, please. Uh huh. Okay. And we'll put this gauze first. Always protect the throat. Patient's already informed. He's going to block his throat with his tongue. And we'll go in, and I'm just going to bring my suction tip in, open up a little bit wider, perfect, and we'll just grab it like that. There goes our screw, and now we have both out. All right, very nice. Now I'm going to continue to clean because we're not finished yet, but nice result. Oh. We'll suction that with the suction tip. Don't know where you're going with that. Um, they're not going to reuse those tips, so we. Oh, we can go in there. Okay. Yep. Let's see one. One of the threads is a little bit larger than the other. The molar is bigger, so we'll figure that out. They're color-coded blue and yellow. They're, they're two different sizes. He can figure that out. All right, very nice. Nice result. The rest now is real simple. As the solution becomes less cloudy and becomes perfectly clear and we don't see any bio burden in there, or any old um, blood. Sometimes blood gets caught in there. We're going to use a little proxy brush. Looks like this. And go right inside that. And just turn it. 
back and forth, back and forth, just like we're clockwise, counterclockwise rotation. Bring that out and look at all the, I guess you can call it the stuff that's in there, <laughs> the stuff. Uh, am I going all the way down? I feel like I'm going all the way down. It feels like it's engaging well into the thread, so that's good. And then I'll go wipe that clean, and then we'll go further back to the molar. Larger diameter, I can tell you we're going right down to the base. This one's definitely got more. And um, back in with more solution. Uh, anything bothering you at all, Ella? Okay. And we just put a little bit more TNS solution in there. Let it soak. I guess the old saying is trust your brain, not your eyes. You want to make sure that you give it plenty of time to penetrate. All right, we'll, we'll clean up the rest. We'll make sure the threads are meticulously pristine and uh, on his way back to his dentist. Uh, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo finishing a rescue case. We'll uh, look forward to uh, helping more dentists. Take care.